Hey guys, what's up? It's B-Man. Today I'm going to show you the process uh, that I go through to create my stencils in Photoshop. Um, now, I've actually made a tutorial before, but it's uh, been a couple of years since I put that video out. And for a while, I've been wanting to redo it, kind of update some things. I think that was like the first video I put on my channel. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, remake this video uh, to kind of show you guys, walk you through the process of what works for me to create stencils. There's a lot of tutorials that you can find online uh, that'll teach you a hundred different ways to make a stencil. None of them are wrong. There isn't a, a definite way, like a best way. It's really personal preference, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, the way that I create stencils, I find very simple. So hopefully anybody that is new to multi-layer stenciling and, and, and doesn't really know how to set up an image uh, to be posterized, I can show you some things to help you guys get started. So the first thing you want to do after you've opened your image, we're going to do this picture of R2-D2. Uh, you want to remove the background, which I already did to save some time. I will link a video in the description to show you how to do that. It's super easy. It takes about five minutes or so. But after we have done that, we want to select all and then we're going to copy our image here. And then we're going to open a new preset. The preset that we are using is US paper because we're going to print our image out on computer paper. So click OK. And then we're going to double click the background to unlock it. You can name it whatever you like. We're going to go to edit and paste. And now we need to make this bigger. So we go back into edit, this time to free transform. We're going to hold down the shift key and we're going to drag this image out like so. As long as you have the shift key held down, your image will stay in the correct dimensions. Uh, there we go, nice and big. Then press enter. And now we're gonna put this in the center. Go back to select all and click here, which will align the vertical centers and then here, which will align the horizontal centers. So now our image is directly in the middle. I'm gonna put a bright color in the background so we can see pretty well that looks good okay now we want to make sure the layer you're working with is selected now we're going to desaturate our image uh, go to image adjustments desaturate and hop back into the same menu adjustments this time brightness contrast now we're going to adjust our levels here to give us a nice dramatic look to our image uh, when we posterize it, we want the scale to blend nicely from the darkest areas up into the lightest areas. Now these values are not set. It depends on what looks good to you. Uh, every image is different. So you can change this up however you see fit. Then we're gonna click OK. Now before we posterize our image, I want to ensure that um, our edges are simplified and kind of easy to cut. So what I like to do is go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian blur and I like to add just a little blur effect to this uh, between one and two is fine it was already actually what I deleted <laughs> um, just enough blur we don't want to add too much like if I were to throw five on there it makes the image really blurry but just enough to kind of take the edge off of the graininess because sometimes if you posterize your image um, uh, it looks really grainy and uh, that would be kind of hard to cut out. So now what we want to do is go back into image, the image menu, this time go to adjustments and posterize, like so. Now, the levels here are the number of layers our stencil is going to be. I like to paint uh, seven layers. Uh, it takes a little time to cut out, but I like the detail that we get, that I get, and um, I think it looks really cool when we're done. But for sake of the video, and to go a little faster, we're just going to do five, which looks uh, looks good as well. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, separate all of our layers that we're going to work with. So, so let's get the move tool. Okay. Now we want to drag this layer down here, and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to deselect the original and keep the copy selected. Uh, I meant to pick this tool. Uh, pick the magic wand tool. And then we're going to right click, color range. We want to extract the black areas first, so click anywhere you see black. Then click OK. And as you can see, all our black areas are selected. Now we want to right click, layer via cut. And 
as you can see all our black area has been pulled out uh, we want to throw that away like so okay now we're going to do the same thing to this layer we're going to copy this one deselect the original right click color range now the gray this this dark gray essentially what we're doing is we're extracting each color up uh, the color scale from uh, black all the way up to white now we layer that via cut like so and we throw that away now we're going to rinse and repeat this process until all that we're left with is the white area color range Put that gray is the white area so there we go everything has been separated the next step is we are going to fill each individual layer with a solid color just checking this out make sure I did it right okay now again starting with our first layer always make sure the layer you're working with is selected right click color range this time click anywhere in the background and it selects all the area around our image come up to select now we want to select the inverse which now selects our image. Now we want to go to edit and fill. So we're going to use color. We're going to click the black area. Click OK. And it's going to fill it completely in black. Now this is our layer one when we print this out, put our stencil together, cut it out, and get ready to paint. This will be the black layer. Now we're going to come up to our layer two. Do the same thing color range, click in the background, select the inverse, edit fill, this time uh, I want to go to foreground color, that way we could just click on our colors this way, and uh, click the next gray, the darkest gray, and then fill, like so, onward to layer 3, fill our last layer because it's already white. Like so. Okay, now let's put our stencil together. Our layer one, layer two, three, four, finally five. And there we go. That's exactly how I create my stencils uh, each time. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best to get back to you guys. And if you would like to see me continue the process um, of printing these out individually and then putting the stencils together, and then I can show you how to cut them out, uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.